I'm Sean for Going All Gamer, and here's your weekly news roundup. If you're a fan of the horror genre, then you've probably heard of a little title called Until Dawn. Until Dawn was revealed at Gamescom 2012, and so far we've heard very little about it. Right up until this week, when Sony have finally revealed a release date for the game. Until Dawn will launch on August 28, 2015, for PlayStation 4 exclusively. You can pre-order the game now, and there are standard, extended, and steelbook editions of the game available. But so far, there have been no. Uh, details revealed on what's going to be inside each of them, but you can find out more about that here if you stick up with us. Now, while we're on the topic of horror, a group of developers who worked on the original Bioshock game have banded together to form Deep End Games uh, and this week announced their upcoming title Perception. Perception puts the player in the shoes of a blind girl equipped with nothing but a smartphone, a walking stick and her hearing and has to make her way through a mansion while being chased by an entity called The Presence. You have no way of fighting this entity except by running and hiding. It sounds an awful lot like Outlast and personally I'm very interested in this title. Perception will launch on PC sometime in 2016 with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions to follow at a later date. If you enjoyed the HD remaster of Resident Evil then you're probably in luck as there is another one on the way. This week Capcom announced that they will be remaking Resident Evil Zero which was originally made for the GameCube and it will be launched in early 2016 on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360 and PC. Now, let's move away from the horror genre and onto the devil that we all know and love. No, I'm not talking about EA, I'm actually talking about Ubisoft. This week Ubisoft announced that Assassin's Creed Syndicate will not have a, a companion app like Unity did. Which personally I find is actually going to be a really really good idea considering that the Unity app was just honestly seemed more like a bit of a burden because I couldn't really figure out how to use it and hated it <laughs> but let's hope it actually works this along with the choice to remove all co-op really shows that Ubisoft might actually be learning from their past mistakes Assassin's Creed Syndicate will launch on October 23rd 2015 on PlayStation 4 Xbox One and PC and finally this week Sony revealed a roster of upcoming free games on PlayStation Plus these include on PlayStation 4, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, Skulls of Shogun Bonafide Edition, Super Exploding Zoo and Futuridium. On PlayStation 3 we're getting uh, Call of Suarez Gunslinger and Cloudberry Kingdom and finally on PS Vita we have Super Exploding Zoo and Futuridium EP. If you haven't gotten the free games that were released in May you can still do this but you just have to do it before either Tuesday or Wednesday as the store will update and you will miss out on them. And that's all the news I have for this week folks, leave a like if you enjoyed and leave a comment on what you think about these stories, I've left links to all my sources in the description below so you know that I'm not intending a lie about this stuff. And if you want to keep up to date with our channel you can do that on Twitter or Facebook or by clicking the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching and in case you've forgotten, for all your news, reviews, previews and playthroughs, stick with going all gamer.